Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. To understand the concepts very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Today we are going to look at part 6. So what is it? Uh, today we are going to learn how to find a specific character or word in a string. So let's talk about a real life example. Suppose you have your card statement, your bank statement, something like this, right? Where you have the account number, you have your account number, the transaction amount and the remarks which says where you have where you have the where you have done the transactions. Now you are trying to observe or analyze your spin pattern and for that you want to check out the spins on online transactions. For example, this, this is the online transaction. This, this one is the online transaction. Similarly, you can find all of the transactions where it contains .com, right? So if a string which contains .com, you can consider that it's an online transaction. It's an online transaction. How you can achieve this? How you can filter out all of those transactions where you have thousands of transactions? How you can filter out that? For that, SAS provides a function which is named as index. It says that it returns the position of a specified string value. For example, if you try to look for .com value, where, it, where is it in this particular string, it will provide you the position. It starts from where 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 it starts from 8th position. Similarly, it will provide you the position where does it starts from. If, for, if it checks for this string and it does not exist, it will return you 0. Let's look at the syntax. So its syntax is pretty simple. First, you need to provide index, which is the function name, then the source where you want to search for a string or a word or a character. And then you need to provide that word, character or a string which you want to look for. In our case, source is going to be a remarks column. And then what is it that we want to find? That is dot com. Dot com we want to find. All right. Now let's go to the SAS and try finding that. So we have the same data in my live library. Library, I'm sorry. So if you look in my lib li library over here, you have the transactions data. You see this? In the same data, in the same table, we're going to find the online transactions. So let's create another data set, which is called data sample. And then you can set the data which is under my library and the transactions name. Now, when you use index function, it does not tells you whether it exists or not. It provides you the position number. Where is it existing? Let's look at an example. I mean, let's try this and see what is it that we read, uh, get back. All right. So, exist. We are creating a variable named exist index and the variable name which contains the value remarks and the value which you want to look for is dot dot com all right and then provide the run statement and then semicolon and hit run button let's look at the data now if you see it returns some value Okay, let me just print this so that it could become more clear to you. Proc print and data sample run. I selected it. Sorry for this. And click the run button. Very nice. Now, if you see this is this observation has some value which is 7 meaning this transaction is done on online portal right this was done on online portal again here it is zero meaning that's not an online transaction similarly now you can filter out all those 
entries wherever the exists value is greater than zero. Let's try that. If exists greater than zero, then output. I have explained about all of these things in my previous videos. If you have not seen it yet, please check out the playlist. Now here we go. Here we have only those transactions which are done on online portals, right? So this is how you can use the index function, all right, to filter out the entries in, from your data set or maybe to look for a particular kind of string value, all right? Now let's see what is it that we have next. Next, we're going to do conditional finding of characters or words in a string. I mean, in the same way as we did, did in the case of a string, but this time we're going to use certain conditions. All right. Now, if you see the previous example, this one, where we got the position positions of uh, .com in the given string, right? Probably you didn't care about one entry. All right. Here. Now we were trying to look for .com and I said that wherever the string contains .com, it will return some value which is greater than zero. But here it has .com, but the position is still zero. Meaning SAS says that this string, this observation does not contain any .com value, which is not right. All right, because this, this contains .com. So what is the difference? If you look here, it has dot com and the position is 13 this also has dot com but the position is zero the difference is here it was in a small letter so it looked for that but here it is in capital letter so it is not giving you that so how can you get the fix for that all right because you some somewhere it can be written in small letter somewhere it can be capital letter so that can be a problem for you all right so how can you resolve that for that sas provides you the another function which is called find so find is nothing it's just kind of index function it works similar to the index function function but this provides you some additional features optional features look at the definition works like index however provides optional finding features it provides you some optional finding features like starting position argument modifiers etc Meaning, when you are trying to search for certain string, you can say that do not start from 1. It, you start from 10th position, you start from certain position. Or you can say just ignore the cases as it happened in the previous case where it found all the things which was in small letter but not the capital letter. Let's look at the syntax. The syntax says find, provide the source string and then the substring which you want to look for and then provide the modifier. Uh, if you if you have some kind of modifier and then you can provide the starting position these two op these two features are optional whether you can provide it or you don't if you don't provide it either of these two it works like index function but if you provide any of these two it works different from the index function so now just go uh, let's go to the example previous example and try to fix out that problem where it was not able to search when the dot com was in capital letter now this time i'm not doing anything else just putting find instead of index i'm just putting find and run this here just a second okay i need to provide the modifier i just didn't provide the modifier so in index function, what we do, we just provide the source and then we provide the substring which we want to look. Now here we are using the find function, right? So we can provide the modifier, which is I. I indicates ignore cases. I mean, uh, just don't check for the cases, whether it is capital or small, just look for that. All right. Now let's run this statement. This time you can see, this time you get six observations because these two are extra. Previously you had just four observations. Now you're getting six observations because wherever it was small dot com or wherever it was capital dot com in capital, all of them have been filtered out. All right. 
so this is how you can use the find function let's look at another feature for find function where you can provide the starting position all right now let's try creating sample to data set and i'm just going to create a simple example for that all right name or maybe we can just provide string string india is a great country to live all right this is the country of festivals all right so this is the string which we have now we want to look for country where does country starts where uh, i mean if this string has some value like which contains country or not if you want to check it right and if country exists in this string where uh, at what position it starts from all right so let's check again we are creating exist variable all right and then provide the find function and then a string and then the sub string which we want to look for which is country okay and then just run this now if you can see the first country starts at 18th position all right it starts at 18th position but some reason for some reason you don't want to look for first occurrence rather you want to look for other occurrences except first so what you can do you can just put the starting position from where does it starts right so uh, the first one starts at 18 so you can simply put 20 or maybe 19 anything you can ju just you just have to skip that position all right so i'm just putting 25 so this will return this time it is saying 47th because it is skipped the first one because we asked it to start at 25th not at the first it starts searching after 25th position so if it starts searching after 25th position then it gets the country string at 47th position all right so this counting starts from beginning is just it uh, it does not starts the counting from uh, it does not start searching from the first character so this is how you can use index and find function in sas projects to look for a particular string please do not forget to tell us how did you uh, how did you like this video if you do not understand this please put a comment will explain it again if you uh, understand this i encourage you to practice this as much as possible thank you very much for watching this video wish you very good